Today we're going to be making a Thai style salad, kind of like som tam, but with green apple instead of green papaya. And the reason why is because sometimes over in this part of the country, green papaya is hard to come by. So we're going to be using green apple. In this case, Granny Smith apples, which are nice and tart and believe uh, bring a really nice flavor to this type of salad. And it's really easy to do. It looks beautiful. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now on the Aimless Cook. Now the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to cut up an apple. I got one Granny Smith apple here and amazingly enough one apple is enough for two really good sized portions or maybe three or four side portions. Now in this case all we're going to do is we're going to cut it up into um, matchstick sized pieces and then we're going to set it aside. Now immediately after my uh, apples are done, I'm going to put them in a medium mixing bowl and put in about a half a lime worth of juice. This is the first stage of our dressing and it's also going to prevent these apples from oxidizing. So I'm going to toss it together and let's move on. Next I got a 4 inch section of one of those large Asian carrots and I'm going to julienne them as well into nice matchstick sized pieces. Uh, if you don't have the large carrot, you can use uh, one medium carrot. Here I have some green beans to which I'm just going to trim. This is about a small handful here. And I'm just going to cut them into two inch sections. Finally, I got a shallot here which I'm just going to peel and chop into nice uh, lengthwise slices. And to that I'm also going to get two chopped Thai chilies. Now once I got all my ingredients together, let's move on. Next, we're going to take a mortar and pestle and in there I'm going to add the green beans and about six grape tomatoes that are cut in half. To that, add the shallots, chilies, a tablespoon of dried shrimp and a clove or two of garlic. Pound that mixture together until the tomatoes are crushed and the green beans are bruised. Season the mixture with about a teaspoon each of fish sauce and sugar and continue to lightly mix in the mortar and pestle until the ingredients are combined. Finally, add a quarter cup of roasted peanuts and crush them coarsely. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can do all of this with a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin. Combine the contents of the mortar and pestle with the apple and carrots in a large mixing bowl. Add the shallots, toss everything together and give it a final taste. Balance out the flavors if you have to and finish by adding a handful of fresh chopped cilantro. Traditional som tam is made entirely in the mortar and pestle but I wanted to preserve the crunchy texture and the look of the apples and carrots. This salad is great on its own or as a side with some fish or this homestyle fried chicken which I'll show you in the next episode. So that is it. That is my recipe for a Thai style green apple salad. Take this recipe with you, make it yours and have fun in the kitchen. Which brings me to my question of the day. When was the last time you used a fruit as a vegetable or a vegetable as a fruit? Let me know in the comments down below and we'll see you next time.